Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Apocalypse, double honors to the apostles and elders who bring no stone and salutations to you, brothers, that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Okay, so the title of this video is The Trial of Our Faith Hangs in the Balance. Okay, and right now, as you can see, by the season being changed, okay, we're coming into the time of um, the destruction. Okay, the, the time that everything that was written may be fulfilled. So I just want to bring out this uh, quick precept. And it says, uh, let me see, I'm going to start. I'm going to start at verse 3. First Peter 1 and 3 it says, Bless be the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah which we know him to be Yahweh. Yahweh Shah sits at the right hand side of the Father. And Yahweh Shah is going to get his glory. Okay? So bless be Yahweh for sending forth Yahweh Shah right, to be our, our shepherd. Okay, to inherit the earth and to be and to have a hope of being with him to inherit that hope of uh, rulership, which is in Yahweh Shah through the Father. That's why the Apostle Peter said, Blessed be the power of Yahweh and the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, which is the anointed, all right, the, the anointed deliverer, okay, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah from the dead. So he has given us that lively hope, okay? And with him giving us that lively hope, all right, we, we're going to be, our faith is going to be tried, okay? Through the trial of his faith. So by his resurrection, he, he's given us a lively hope. Verse 4 says, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, Reserved in heaven for you. So this inheritance is incorruptible. It's undefiled and it fadeth not away. Meaning no man can take it. Okay. And it's laid up within heaven. Okay. It's laid up with Yahweh Shah. All right. And the power, the blessed power of Yahweh in heaven. All right. For, for, uh, for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is what Peter is speaking about. Who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. And now we're living in this last time. All right, we're living in the last of the last time. Okay, because now our faith is going to be tried. Okay, and we have the hope of the faith of our salvation. Okay. We're looking for an uncorruptible crown, okay? Something that fadeth not away. We're looking for glory that fadeth not away, okay? Because all the glory that's in this society is temporal, all right? So it says, it says, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you're in heaviness through manifold temptations, because now it's needful. All right, that we, we be we be tried, okay, and we have to be tried for a season in order to receive this this inheritance, this incorruptible, undefiled, fate if not away, something that's reserved in heaven for us. Okay, it says, "When ye greatly rejoice through now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations." So whatever brothers are going through. Okay, you're dealing with heaviness, you're dealing with the manifold temptations, but we greatly rejoice because we're looking for something reserved in heaven for us. It says that, that the trial of your faith, which that is the trial of our faith, us being tried and being in heaviness for this season, this particular season. All right, this is the trial of our faith. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. 
though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah. So, look, we're being tried, okay? This is the trial of our faith that we have to deal with, okay? But look, if we overcome this, this will be shown to be praise, our praise and honor, all right? No matter what brothers are going through, okay? It says that that might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah. So if we overcome the heaviness and the trials that we're dealing with, when Yahweh Shah appears, look, it'll be held to our praise and to our honor and to our glory. So we got to keep on pushing this word. All right, we got to keep on pushing through. All right, it says, Whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believe, believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. So when Yahweh Shah come, who we haven't seen, all right, but our works towards him, we've shown that we love them, all right, we're going to receive a, a, a joy unspeakable, all right, and, and glory, full of glory. But Yahweh Shah is going to get his glory first. But ye believed him through your manifold temptations, all right, and your heaviness. You know, that's why we have to go through this heaviness. That's why we have to go through what we're going through, all right, as men of the Lord. Because this is the trial of faith. But look, we look for an uncorruptible crown, all right, that fadeth not away. That's why, you know, hey, this is what the, this is what this fight is. This is what it is, man. Basically. All right, we we're in the time where we're dealing with the woman's uh birth pains and the contractions are getting closer and closer. Okay, but guess what? When that time comes when when, when the glory, the uncorruptible crown is gonna come at the time where the the uh, woman has given birth. And what happens when a woman gives birth? She rejoices over her son that is born. All right. And the, pain, the pains are no more. All right. So that, that's why we have to go through what we're going through. And that this trial, that the trial, verse 7, it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory. At the appearing of Yahweh Shah. Okay, so that's the trial. Okay. So we, we have to go through, all right, at the pair at the appearing of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it's going to be found unto praise and honor and glory. That's why it has to be tried. Okay, it has to go through the fire, it has to be purified. Okay. Because you're not you're not coming through Yahweh Shah unless you're purified. All right, unless you're tried. So, you know, that's what it is. All right, so with that, call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, All right, the water, um, and, and, uh, um, um, uh, Barakata, or Barakatham to you brothers. All right, that's, that's, that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Double honesty, apostles and elders of great millstone. Come on.